It's the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. It's time for the show. Aloha, it's it's Frank here, and it's time for the Frank Show. And it is Monday, so we're checking out a new game coming soon to PlayStation VR. Now, this one actually knocked my socks off and surprised me, and I enjoyed it a whole lot more than I thought I would. Now, VR and gaming, in my opinion, go hand in hand, baby, like a good meme, but. And there's a whole side of virtual reality like education and healthcare that I don't even touch on most of the time. But today, we're mixing gaming and education and looking at Titanic in virtual reality. Now, at first, I thought, hey, Frankie, what are you going to do? You're just going to be walking through the Titanic? Now, it does have that option where you can ride in a lifeboat and get the experience like you're watching it sinking and going down. It's awesome, and it gave me chills watching the ship sink into the water, but... The main point of this game is you're a researcher and you actually get to dive down and check out the ship and go into the ship and it's awesome. You have full control of this little submersible and you grab it with, I'm assuming it's going to be move controllers. You grab this joysticks and you move the joysticks and they move the ship. They're super responsive and you move around. You can also grab one joystick that does the spotlight so you set the spotlight where you'd like. You move over to the wreckage and once you're close enough, you grab the VR headset from above. You put it on and you get to use the rover. Now you get the rover, you take it into the ship, and you can pick things up, grab them, and bring them back, save them in the inventory. Then, once you've grabbed everything, you go back up to the surface, and you get to hit your laboratory. Now, laboratory experience was even awesome, too, and I was thinking it was going to be kind of boring, but it, it was cool. You get to take what you found on the ship, and you get to see how they clean it, and they preserve it, and then you get to investigate it, learn a little bit here and there, and it's 100% educational, and you're definitely learning the whole way through, but it's, it's fun learning, especially if you're a fan of the Titanic, and you like the stories, and I wasn't the biggest, giant, most hugest fan on Earth, but I think the yeah, Titanic's interesting. I always thought it was cool growing up I, I definitely saw the James Cameron movie and I liked this game now just came out for Steam in full release so I have no idea exactly when it's coming to PlayStation VR but they have assured me they've confirmed to me that it is coming our way now like I said you do the dive missions there were eight of those dive missions there were seven lab missions there was the um lifeboat experience there is a just ride along and you can use a spotlight and take a tour of the ship wreckage it is spoken over and there is another mode where you can just go around the wreckage as much as you like so i think it offers a solid bit of content i have no idea what the end all be all price is going to be on playstation vr but you guys know i'll keep you updated now thank you all for coming through you beautiful most amazing audience in the world give yourselves round of applause thumbs up and if you think i deserve it then hey throw me one as well but more important than all of that is that if yo Want to stay up to date on any and everything PlayStation VR and you don't mind this ugly mug? Friggin' subscribe. I mean, come on. Nah. Smudges. All right, I've reached the seabed. Can't see much. You're still a couple of hundred meters out, and back to manual control. Shall we run an equipment test? All right, let's run through the controls on the panel in front of you. The center-left joystick allows you to move the submersible forward, back, left, and right. The center-right joystick controls the yaw, letting you Great. rotate left now let's and check right. the altitude controls. Now. The lever on the far right allows you to ascend and descend. Okay. If you look down at your hands, you can see your controllers. The top button on your right controller is the info button. Holding down the info button will bring up the control diagram for your hand pieces. If it feels more comfortable, you can operate the submersible using these controls on your hand pieces instead of physically moving the levers. Great. How do I interact with objects? You can interact with objects in the submersible by touching the object with your controller and then pull the trigger to use. If you ever get stuck, just hold down the info button again to bring up the controls diagram. Will do. Right, now we'll move on to the map and missions. You'll see in the middle of the console in front of you is a map. It shows your current location as a blue pointer at the bottom of the screen. 
As you approach the wreck, it will slowly appear on the map. The yellow icon is your current goal location, so you know where you should be heading. I'll update the map and your goal locations as we go through contracts. Right. The screen just to the left of the console displays the mission log. It shows your current goal task. So if you aren't sure what you should be doing or looking for, check the mission log and map for more information. Got it. Okay, you'd better place a marker before we head too far. Interact with the button next to the map to place one. Marker's been placed. You can head towards the bow. So, I had a call from our main sponsor. Problem? No, all fine. Just voicing her excitement about us finally diving. Said she's looking forward to seeing what we can do. I've set up a call for 8 p.m. this evening. For $45,000 a day? Let's just hope we find something. Never mind the money. My doctorate is riding on this. Right. I should get my lights ready now that I'm getting close to the bow. The far left lever controls your sub's lights. To turn the spotlights on and off, interact with the button in front of the lever. Whoa. There's something you don't see every day. She's a beauty. Okay, first things first. We've got a contract with the Titanic Society to place their commemorative plaque on the forecastle deck. Get yourself into position. All right. Coming up to it now. You'll need the Predator for this task. Ah, the ROV. Yep. Courtesy of Flight Avionics and the latest in augmented reality technology. If you look up, you'll find a set of VR goggles and a control panel. The controls to maneuver the Predator are the same as the submersible. Make your way over to the plaques already laying on the deck, and remember that the range is only up to 15 meters. The advantage of driving without an umbilical. Is there any way to boost the signal? Yeah, but we need to upgrade the deep sea transmitter and they don't come cheap. The generosity of our sponsors and UNS funding only goes so far. If we complete these contract jobs, we might just be able to afford some upgrades. What happens if I go out of range? The automatic recall kicks in. ROV comes straight back to the sub. I'm here. Great. The plaque we're placing is in the Predator's inventory. You can access it through the menu. Oh, how do I open the menu? You can open the menu by pressing and releasing the info button. While in the menu, you can check your map and mission log and access the inventory. To interact with items in the inventory, use the laser pointer to highlight the item and pull the trigger to select. Okay, I'll place the plaque down on top of the flashing beacon. I'll take a photograph with the onboard camera for the Society. Great idea. They'll appreciate that. You can access the camera through the ROV inventory. Open up the menu again and select the camera icon from the inventory screen. Done. I'll head back to Sedna. No need. Just press the top button on your left controller. This is the return. Now you're back in the sub, recall the ROV by pressing the button next to the ROV goggles. It's above you on the right. Where to now? Hull breach on E deck. I'll mark it on your map. We're heading for his cabin, right? That's right. Eyewitness testimony said Henderson kept a journal. It should tell us more about his activities on the final night. I presume I'm looking for some kind of trunk. Henderson had a briefcase listed on the manifest. With any luck, it's still in his room. Dr. Lynch? Yeah? Why are we doing this? 
$45,000 a day at sea. No, I know, but that just about covers the costs of the expedition. I meant, like, why are we taking this job in particular? Well, put it this way. Why do you think she hired us? Because we're academics? Yes, but more specifically, we respect the history. It would have been cheaper for our sponsor to just hire a salvage team. And why do you agree to take it? Uh, funding like this comes once in a blue moon, and I wanted to see her up close. <laughs>